You might have heard people say that the United States of America was built on Judeo-Christian values, but let's do a comparison of the United States Constitution and the Bible. The United States Constitution is a product of the Enlightenment, a philosophical movement that changed the world. It has many influences. It's a document that begins with we the people. It's a document that contains three branches of government for a separation of powers. Ultimately, it's a foundation of the government known as a republic, meaning the people don't vote on issues, they elect representatives that then vote on issues on their behalf. There are many influences to the United States Constitution. There's ancient Greek influence. The first democracy was built in Athens by people that worshiped Zeus. There's also social contract social contract theory philosophy, which is additional ancient Greek influence. There's also influence by the ancient Romans who built the first republic uh, long before Christianity was a religion. You also have philosopher John Locke, and you have influence from the six nations of the Araki Federacy, Confederacy, so you have Native American influence where the Founding Fathers took some of their structure and incorporated it into our uh, documentation for our government. So many influences, as George Washington put it, it is a result of many years of labor, of philosophers, legislators, and sages. So in other words, something that took many generations to build. It's not something that the Founding Fathers just built from scratch. They drew from many sources and had that education and, and had that history, had that background in order to be able to build uh, from these many sources. Now you compare that to the Bible. So the Bible is composed of two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament, the Old Testament making the uh, majority of, of what the book is. In the Old Testament, government is basically Abraham because as Abraham said, God made a deal with him that all his sons would be kings, the land is all his, doesn't matter who's currently on it. And so he's the divine ruler because God said so and God gave him all this in exchange for a piece or for, for his foreskin. So government structure in the Old Testament is founded on a man in his foreskin. And so everybody is to do what this man says because he claims that God gave him this power. When you look at the New Testament, there really isn't anything on structure of government because it doesn't matter. And there's a couple reasons for this. Number one, you don't have to plan for anything because God's going to take care of everything. So take no thought of the morrow. It doesn't matter. Just leave everything in God's hands. And number two, the world's going to end any minute now. So just spend your time repenting and giving up your worldly possessions because any minute now the world's going to end. So you really don't have to plan for the future because there is no future. Now, obviously, there's a tremendous difference between the Bible and the United States Constitution. The Constitution has no resemblance to the Bible. Thank goodness. So something to consider the next time you hear somebody say that our country was built on Judeo-Christian values. This is Jim Wall. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Cisco, do we have to leave all our good friends now? Only until next time, Pancho. Adios, amigos. <laughs>